in the live though. I might let one of y'all up in here today. Hey. Happy, happy Friday. What's up? Mm. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, what's up, Soror? I see you. How you doing? AKA's in the house. I just mentioned the AKA's. Um, okay, who bought the first badge? Thank you, Queen Silver Spring. Thank you for the badge you purchased. Thank you so much. But yeah, I just mentioned Alpha Kappa Alpha. I told them I had an interview with Fox 54 and we were talking about HBCUs and that entire experience. And I was like, you know, I grew up as an only child. So um, that was my first experience of sisterhood. And um, Alpha Kappa Alpha, you know. So I am very, very, very thankful for my HBCU experience. But check this out, y'all. So I, want, I always want to be like, hey, you can still be one, I'm sure. They have grad chapters and stuff. So don't ever, ever lose hope. But I have something that came today. Hey. And we're going to um, open it. So let's see what it is. Y'all know I like to open stuff with y'all so you can see. I love that you're always smiling when you are not smiling. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm a little tired today, but I'm good overall. I just had to run. It's Valentine's party day at school. I had to run and take some pizza up there, honey, because Boss Baby and Tank can be like Mariah and just take some cupcakes. They was told my mama, we want you to bring pizza. So, I should have said, nah, I'm going to take some cupcakes or cookies. But I went ahead and I was like, okay. All right. So, I had to go take some pieces to the school. That's what I just finished with. Oh, this is cute. Oh. Listen, when I'm energized, you know when I'm tired, you don't know. That's one thing I tell people about me. You ain't got to never wonder what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, how I'm thinking, because you don't know. It's very, you know, I ain't good at faking the funk too much. Not too much. If I'm tired, you don't know. I still am happy. I still feel at peace. I'm enjoying my day. I'm just tired. But we all get tired. Um, I have some ideas for your summer merch mail. Ooh, okay. DM them to me, girl. Yes, for the summer merch ideas, God said go. Ha <laughs> ha, somebody say ha <laughs> ha. I don't have on lipstick today, I just have on gloss today. So y'all wanna see who this is from? Oh, y'all know what. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I cannot. I absolutely just cannot. <laughs> I cannot. So, y'all see this, it came in the mail. Right. See this? In this cute. So let me tell you. They sent me one. I'm about to have to send them a tell. They sent me one more gift. Y'all must really be buying these lipsticks. Which I know y'all been DMing me telling me how great these lipsticks are. But it says <laughs> To Malia, Milani, Mariah, and Martell, happy Valentine's Day. May your mother's love and strength inspire you all. Carol and Randy from Posner, Posner Cosmetics. They are, listen, this partnership has been great. Um, working with Carol and Randy has been amazing. Um, all the way from when we were creating the lipsticks, the colors, the names of the lipsticks, what the packaging would look like. The entire experience was amazing. I'm not difficult to work with. I do know what I want and what I don't like, so I'm going to be very opinionated when it comes to that and stand on it. But um, I'm easy to do business with. It's, you know, it's fine. So we had a great relationship, and they sent me roses yesterday, and today they sent all of my children, all of them. I say all because I have four. Um, all of my children in this, which I, I'm assuming is popcorn, because it said from the popcornfactory.com. The popcornfactory.com. So they're gonna love this when they get home today. 
They sure are. Posner in the house. Y'all make sure you guys support Posner Cosmetics. Um, great beauty brand. Been around for so many decades. Um, they have been great when it has come to working with me and creating this lipstick line, um, 7th Avenue um, Beauty by Melody Holt. They have been great, phenomenal, great people to work with, woman-owned business. Um, and I just, I love them. And I guess they love me back. I guess they love me back. So, yeah, Malia, Melania, Mariah, and Martell, happy Valentine's Day. So, they're going to love that. Um, let's see. Her son is a junior. No, my son's not a junior. Um, his name is Martell Lavore Holt II. Yeah, he's not a junior. Mel, you don't need a filter? No, I don't. It's just fun. And, you know, I don't need one. If you want to see me without filters, you can definitely go to my Instagram page. I posted about... Three professional photos in a purple dress. There's no filter. Those are the pictures from the photographer. Go check them out. That's me. Um, sometimes I post on my story with no makeup on at all, with no filter. You can pay, you know. It's, it's the new thing that the millennials like to do sometimes. We just like to play around with filters. Um... Or you can watch me on Saturday nights or any day of the week of Love and Marriage Huntsville. There's definitely no filters with the camera. None at all. It's there. The lipstick line is already out. So, PosnerCosmetics.com. Go check it out. PosnerCosmetics.com. Um, I think I just posted something in my story today. So, go check it out. We definitely got to work together. Whoever you are, DM me what you're talking about, what you're trying to do. Um, <laughs> he said, Darnell B, we know you pretty girl. Y'all pretty. Y'all y'all beautiful. I be seeing y'all's pictures. Y'all be sending me pictures with y'all with God said, go stuff on, looking cute. Um, let's see. It will be better the second round of time. Bet. What will be better? Well, it'll be better. Will you be creating lip glosses? I will say Posner and I have something else that we are um, working on. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Can't wait till I get famous. Oh, well, let me tell you one thing. And this is the honest to God truth. I've never had um, the thought or the idea of, ooh, I want to be famous. Ooh, I want everybody to know who I am. Never that. I tell people all the time, I've always chased purpose. And if purpose and celebrity happen to line up, then that's what it is. Never chasing celebrity. Always chasing purpose. And if that's what it lines up to be for God's will for me, then that's just what it is. But don't chase being famous. Don't chase being a celebrity. Chase your dreams. Chase your passion. Chase your purpose. Um, so if that's singing, dancing, writing, acting, directing, producing, chase purpose. And if purpose and celebrity happen to meet, then that's what it is. Um, let's see. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, we'll look at the site later. I love the makeup. Yay! PosnerCosmetics.com. Check it out. What is the next thing you're working on? I'm always working on things. I don't tell everything that I'm working on until I'm actually ready to tell it because, you know, I'll, I'll tell you guys this. So, for example, I was on the phone with someone a little while ago, right? And we were talking, and she knows she can run, you know, she can talk to me about what she's got going on, what she's thinking about doing, different things like that. So we were talking or whatever, and um, she was like, and oh my gosh, she was like, Mel, so I have this great idea. I'm going to move. She was like, I have this great idea. She was like, I have this great idea, um, so I can prop my feet up. She was like, I have this great idea of some things I want to do, and um I was like, okay. She was like, and girl, one of them, like, it's really good. There's nothing else out here like it. Okay, so let me tell you. So, and I said, hold up, hold up, hold up. I stopped her. And she's a friend of mine. And I stopped her. I said, do you have an NDA with me? She said, no. 
I said, so there's no NDA between us? I said, exactly. Stop telling your business to people. Don't do that. If you don't have an NDA, you don't tell what it is you're doing, working on, thinking about, what da 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 No. She was like, man, Mel, you know what? You are so right. Thank you so much for that. I said, yeah, I said, and then you wonder how or why someone can end up coming out with something very similar to something you already had showed them and you were working on because you tell too much without an NDA. And without an NDA, there's nothing you can do about someone taking your idea for real. Not for real. It's, it's, a, it's a much more lengthy process to try to, you know, so I was like, no. So I don't even know what it was now. Whatever it was she wanted to tell me about that she thinks this is going to be so amazing. And I'm sure it will be because she, you know, she's, she's got support pushing her and encouraging her. But I said, you and I, we friends, but we ain't got no NDA. So I don't want to know. I don't even want to know. That's just how much I be not caring about people's business. I'm not out here, you know, looking for people's business, trying to be in people's business. I really don't care. I wish you well with whatever you're doing. But I'm over here grinding too. And I really don't care to know. Do it. Whatever you're doing, I don't need to know specifics. I don't need to know game plan. I don't need to know none of that. That's what people mess up a lot of times. They just be. But I'm that friend that's going to be like, no, see what you're doing, what you're going to do with me right now. This is what you're going to do with somebody else. And then may come back to bite you in the butt. Don't do that. So, yeah, that's how, that's how I am, y'all. I just like to keep it all the way at 100. Even if it comes, when it comes to me, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. All day, every day. And um, I know some of y'all saw my post earlier. I've been getting y'all's DMs with the encouragement. Thank you guys so much. Um, I have been, like, where I am in my house is where I love to be. And it's peaceful. Ain't nobody bothering me. I ain't bothering nobody. It's just peaceful. And that's the way I like it to be. Um, but I will say you really are tested with your growth when it comes to being put in situations that test you. You're going to fail or pass. For me, it's I may fail once, I'm not failing again. I'm not going to fall for the same thing twice. So, you know, what does that look like? You have to be willing to evaluate yourself. Keep it real with yourself with where you are. Um, keep it real with yourself with where you're still growing. And then do the work to grow in that area, whatever it is. Put in the work to grow. So, yeah. Um, it works. It works. I'm very, I woke up today very happy. I ain't have no migraine. I ain't have no headache. Because about two weeks ago, I had a headache for a day. Well, about a week and a half, I had a headache for a day and a half. I said, oh, I can't let nothing be taking me out for a day and a half. I got too much stuff to do to be down for a day and a half with a migraine over some stuff of people that I don't even deal with, for real, and I don't talk to. So, no. It's a no for me. So you got to protect your peace. That's my point. You got to protect your peace. You have to protect your energy. You have to protect... Um, where you are, you have to protect all of that at whatever cost. I don't care what it is. Period. Can't let nobody, you know, take you through the ringer. You gotta protect yourself, and especially if you have babies. Your babies feel your energy, so it's important for you to be able to have a calm spirit when you're with them. You should be calm. You should be happy. They should feel that. They should feel the love. You know. Um, it's so funny because my son does something now. He just started doing this. It's I'll be like, what? So I done pick, I done kind of caught on to it. And I done picked up on it because he's done it. And after like the second time, I was like, mm, okay. So what he'll do is like um, he'll say, come here, mom. Let me tell you something. And at first he got me the first couple of times. You know what I'm saying? He's like, let me tell you, come here, let me tell you something. I'm thinking he's gonna tell me something about something one of his siblings done did or something. Soon as I've been down to listen, he kisses me right here on the cheek. He kisses me right here on the cheek. So he did it this morning too, but I knew what it was because I already know. And now I know. So, but I still bend down and let him kiss. He, he did it twice this morning. He did it when he first got up. Then he did it when we was getting ready to leave. I mean, you know. <laughs> so um, my point is your children can feel love. They can feel peace. They can feel happiness. Um, those are all things that we can't touch, but we should be able to feel and don't ever dare think that your children are not old enough or aware enough. Because these kids are a lot more aware this day and age than it was probably when we were younger. 
Even though then we were aware of stuff too. But now, oh, it's a whole nother level. Um, so what I will say is they are aware you have to be just careful about the energy that you have. I talk to my kids about energy. I talk to them about making sure that they're being respectful, but that they're also being respected. Um, I talk to them about a lot of things. Um, someone DM me and was like, wow, you're talking to your kids about the chakras. I didn't learn that until I was in my late 20s, I think is what she said. I can't imagine how far along I'd be if I learned about that when I was 10, like your daughter is. And so, you know, I talk to them about a lot of things, for sure. I, t I They know how to meditate. Yeah, all of that. I talk to them about speaking things into existence and um, faith and all, all that stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's funny because then they go to school. They go to school, you know, sharing that stuff with their friends. You need to use your throat chakra because the teacher asked you three times what you didn't understand. <laughs> I said, what you say, Mariah? <laughs> I said, that's right, baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's that's right. So, you know, um, I think sometimes we have to, you know, remember that as parents, God has gifted us with these souls that we're responsible for and it's up to us to guide them right and to make sure that whatever their purpose here is in this lifetime that it's fulfilled and that's the guidance parenting is literally you know it's a lot but that's what we're supposed to do um that doesn't mean shutting them down every time they have an opinion and want to talk you allow your children to talk None of my children are going to grow up and be people who don't talk or, or, or are afraid of expressing themselves. Then we look at it and we talk about how there are so many men who can't speak up or won't speak up, who feel a certain way. And instead of talking about it, they run out and do other things instead of sharing with their spouse what they're feeling. When all they've been told is, hush, shut your mouth, hush, shut your mouth. <laughs> so, you know. What you think they're going to grow up to be as adults? They're going to be quiet nine times out of ten. Not know how to handle tough conversations. When my children talk, they have to break down to me. If they feel something different than what I'm saying, it's okay, so why do you feel that way? Support, support what you're saying. Why do you feel that way? And sometimes they say something, I'll be like, you know what? Shoot, I'm kind of rolling with you. Shit. I agree with what you said. By the time you, look, sometimes by the time they done, I'll be like, shoot, you right, though. No. Okay, I'll be like, okay, I feel it. I can feel it. They be like, you feel it, mama? I'll be like, yeah, I, you know what? We gonna do that. <laughs> we gonna do that. I like it. <laughs> So, you know, sometimes uh, they, they come with some good stuff. Shoot, I'm like, shoot, y'all just do kind of sound better. You got some good points. Um, you know, so conflict resolution begins at a young age. Absolutely. Absolutely. Period. And that's probably why I'm the way I am, too. I know I saw my mom on here a minute ago. I don't know if she's still on here. Lord, I'm being good, though. So, you know, she can stay on here today. Hey, mommy, if you're watching. Um, but when I was a kid, I remember my mother used to let, let me express myself the same way my children express themselves. And, um, yeah, she did. She used to let me express myself. I had to back it up, you know. But she didn't just shut me down. And it wasn't like a, because I'm the mama and you're the child. So this is what it is. My mother wasn't like that. So, yeah. So, that I'm doing, I'm the same way with mine when it comes to that. And um, now as an adult, people know when it comes to me, I'm vocal. Um, I can express myself. I'm not afraid to express myself. Um, I'm confident in what I say. But it all starts at an early age, hands down. Hands down. So, if you have small children, don't shut them up. Let them speak. Teach them how to speak. Teach them how to think. Teach them how to think. Um, it works. It works. Train up a child in more ways than one. Absolutely. If y'all just coming on here, I came on here today because I had a gift. And it's this, which is some popcorn from Posner Cosmetics, Carol and Randy. 
They sent this to Malia, Mariah, Milani, and Tank. So they're going to have a good little time. Valentine's Day gift they, they got from them. So they're going to have a good little time eating that today. Love from Jamaica. Ooh, come on. I, I was just telling somebody the other day that I need to go to Jamaica. I sure do. Yep. I, and I'm going. As <laughs> soon as I get a little break from work, I'm going. Period. Super Bowl plans. So, I don't have any Super Bowl plans. I was, um, there were some things I was invited to during the week, this week. Like some red carpets and stuff, but... I'm working this week, so um, I was like, um, the soonest I can come out is probably Saturday evening, Sunday. And so I think though what I'm going to do is actually not go to LA um, for Super Bowl stuff, but I will have a surprise for you guys. What's today? Friday. So yeah, I'll probably be posting it by Sunday, but no, I'm not going. I'm not going. Um, greetings from Canada. Enjoy your weekend. Very true. I have a speaking engagement tomorrow. If you're in Huntsville, Start Again event is tomorrow. So um, with my amazing therapist, Dominique Diller. Honey, Dominique is amazing because um, Dominique got me all the way together. I had a therapy session about a week and a half ago after I had that um, headache for a day and a half. And she told me, she said, listen, she said, we're not going to go backwards. And she said, You've grown too much to go backwards. So, this Melody 22, 2022 that you're talking about, she said, no, ma'am. And that was so wonderful me, wonderful for me because, you know, someone holding you accountable, making sure you're staying on your healing journey, making sure that you're staying on course, so important. You don't need nobody in your ear raw, 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 rawing you up. You need someone who's making you put things into perspective keeping you calm and telling you, no, this is how we're going to move. It's so important to have people like that in your life. And, um, you know, I'll tell anyone, if you're dating, thinking about dating, make sure you ask the right questions. So one of my questions um, would be, have you been to therapy for childhood traumas? Because we've all had some, every one of us. And a lot of things, those a lot of times those childhood traumas are affecting us and we don't even realize it. But it's projected. You see it in different relationships that you have, friendships that you have. So have you been to therapy? I need to know. Oh, okay. Have you? What was it like growing up in your household? Oh, okay. So your father worked a lot. Okay. So then you start thinking, okay, so are you going to work a lot? And never hardly be home because you chasing a dollar because that's what you saw and that was what was shown as love to you right you gotta start you gotta ask the right question <laughs> i don't know if nobody gonna even be able to sit through all the questions <laughs> through all the questions i have what are your parenting skills like do you feel about corporal punishment what do you feel about raising your voice what do you feel like it's all that stuff matters when you're talking about dating somebody. Y'all better be asking the questions. Don't get all caught up in la-la land. Then you end up dating or falling for somebody that you don't even know. Because you didn't ask no questions. You met somebody. They were nice. They looked good. They seemed successful. And now we're in la-la land. No. Ask the right questions. Period. And if anybody don't want to ask, don't want to answer them, then they don't need to. Uh, they don't even need to be talking to you anyway. I had a whole conversation yesterday with somebody, and they're just a friend, literally just a friend. Um, and I asked a whole bunch of questions just because I'm, I'm curious. I'm, you know, I be wondering how people grew up and all that stuff now, so I just be asking questions. He answered all of them. I was like, okay, <laughs> and it was a good conversation. But yeah, he answered all the questions. Yeah, and I was just asking because I was curious. So, okay, so where are you from? Oh, okay, so what was it like growing up in your house? Hmm. Then it came, you know, well, my emotional side comes from my dad and from my mom because my dad really didn't, you know, show much emotion. Oh, okay. See, those are things you need to know so you can start seeing who you're really getting and dealing with. And it's so important who you allow in your space. Um, 
and allow. They can lie. Anybody can lie, but you won't say that I didn't ask. It won't be me. It won't. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're right. Next level blooms. People can lie. And so you need to have the spirit of discernment and have your spiritual game on point so your intuition can kick in. Furthermore, you lying to me versus me not asking you the questions, them two different things. I may look like a fool in the end, but it won't be because I didn't try to do my part and I just floated away in la-la land on something that I thought was something. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Learn about being manipulated. What do you mean learn? I think we've all been manipulated at some point in our lives. We've all been manipulated at some point in our lives. So that's raw experience. Um, Y'all got some good questions and comments, so happy weekend, sis. Yes, John A., happy weekend. Ah! How the turn up? Would like to see my products? DM me. I do have a PO box. Um, check the his history of mental illness. I know that's that's another thing. Yeah, you need to ask about the history of mental illness when you date somebody. Let me tell you, don't ever for y'all out here trying to date people. Let me tell y'all, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't think you're gonna run them away. Don't think it's too deep. No, nah, it ain't too deep. You talking about being around me, getting any of my energy, any of that? No questions too deep. I needs to know. Okay. Think. I want y'all to take some time today and think about any of your previous relationships and how you wasn't asking stuff in the beginning, not the right questions. Then you be over there heartbroken and hurt. You ain't ask the right questions and then pay attention to the right signs. We've all done it. I'm guilty too. So, you know, but moving forward, when you take some time to heal, to reflect, all of that kind of stuff, you have to think, okay, what could I have done? What could I have done? What should I have done? What could, you know, you got to ask yourself. You got to ask yourself, where did I drop the ball? And a lot of times it's because we get caught up in this person that's presented to us and we don't ask the right questions. We don't look at family history, um, none of that. And you have to. I asked, <laughs> I asked, they just lied. Some of them going to lie. But sure, at least you ask. And then you better ask God to give you that discernment. Period. I'm going to have a whole come up with my daughter to see how she feels about our household. Oh, yes. I love that. Talk to your kids. I ain't going to lie. I be feeling like I be talking to my kids all the time. I be talking to them about, yes, I do. I be talking about everything. So, guys, what do you guys feel love is to you? What do you think love is? I ask them stuff like that. Hey guys, so how do you feel? How do you feel about going between two homes? Or how do you feel about mommy and daddy not being together? Are you okay? What do you think? How are you feeling? Ask your kids stuff. Hey, how is it at school? What do you think about kids picking on other kids? Is that nice? Is it not? Is it okay? Okay, why not? I do all, I have so many talks with my children. Oh, I feel like I talk to them a lot. <laughs> But I love it because that's my job as their parent. It's my duty. It's what I have been, um, God has gifted me to do when he made me their mom. Was to take these little souls and send them, you know, help them get to their purpose. Sometimes when I talk to um, Bob, uh, Malia, not Malia, Malia boss baby, Milani. When she be cutting them little fits y'all see her doing. Y'all ain't seen all her little fits, but some of them little fits she be throwing. I go right down to her eye level and look past her eyes and straight into her soul and I say, stop it. And you know, she comes down and looks back and says, yes, ma'am. So soft. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we have to understand that this is a shell. There's a soul behind in this, right? So you got to look past the shell sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I do. I look right over. I look right through them eyes. Get to that soul. Stop. You are misbehaving and it's not okay. She'd be like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and she calms down. So, what's your advice on dating a narcissist? Don't date one. Don't date one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I mean, you know, narcissists lack empathy. So
So I, I don't, I would never again in my life be with someone who doesn't understand my pain or understand hurt or they lack empathy. It's my <laughs> no. Because if you can do something and despite it hurting people that you say you love or care about the most, and you can keep doing it despite that, you're unable to even feel. So no. Mm -mm. Tell them bye. If you know they're a narcissist, look it up. You'll see all them signs. You better tell them, oh, unfortunately, I have decided that this will not work for me. So um, I've made the decision that we're going to have to end this situationship, friendship, relationship, whatever it is. I wouldn't I wouldn't date a narcissist. Hopefully Glitter is here taking notes with her stalking ass. I don't know who Glitter is. Thank you guys who are buying badges. I guess y'all are really <laughs> appreciating the information. <laughs> Cause I see y'all. Thank you guys <laughs> for buying badges. Um when does the new episode air? I don't know. I can't. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't know because that's a lie. I do know. I just can't tell you. I do know. So I just say soon. Wait for the network to announce it. They're going to. Dating a narcissist is damaging to you, so don't settle for dating them. Yeah, really. Let them go date another narcissist instead. Let them. Mm -mm. No. No, thank you, Sacred Peace for Life for the badge. Thank you. Are you filming? Yes, I am. Do I believe that astrology is of the devil? No, I do not. Um, last I checked, the Bible even talks about how God created everything. Sun, moon, stars, clouds, everything has a purpose. Um, I think our ancestors used... I think even in the Bible, they found Jesus by way of a star, didn't they? But now I'm going to say it's of the devil. That's kind of contradictory to me. I kind of have my own mind to think for myself, honestly, since you're asking. I'm kind of able to think for myself and what makes sense. So the star led them to Jesus. And the stars helped us build in Africa pyramids and things like that. But it's of the devil. Some things are just taught ignorantly so kind of learn that for myself too um am i filming right now this moment no i'm at home by myself chilling what can we expect from the season that you can tell us nothing i ain't telling nothing i let me tell you something <laughs> i ain't tell i don't tell nothing <laughs> yes the three wise men were astrologists You just have to look let me tell you something though everybody on their own spiritual journey i'm that person be like do what works for you be great god bless you i don't i don't do what you know i just just kind of how i roll um you gotta have your own spiritual journey you gotta use common sense and you have to use wisdom everybody's not ready for the wisdom but you gotta use it it's mad peaceful, yo. Heck yeah, shoot. It's pretty mad. Let me tell you. <laughs> Don't make me take y'all out there on the porch. Show y'all what the city looking like today. The sun out too. It's beautiful beaming over here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hi, Melody. Faith and knowing. Hi, Faith and knowing. Hi. Do you have a book published? So I do have. Um, there are a couple of books that I've already written. And I have my third book. God said, go the way this over. Um, that has been written already. I've already written it, ready to come out. You know, I'm doing some little things. I'm working on the cover and all that right now. So, um, can't wait for you guys to get that. Um, can I send you some original music? Yep, email is in my bio. I just love your children. Oh, I know, I love them too. They're my babies. Melody, would you ever get married? get married again you know that's a good question it's a tough question dang um i think love is beautiful and i love love i think it's amazing um and i'm not gonna say that i would never get married again 
because I know how it feels to fall in love with somebody and want to, you know, get married and all that stuff and spend your, the rest of your life together. So you hope. Um, but what I will say is, it's not a priority for me. Real talk. It's not a priority. Um, yeah. It's just not. Mm -mm. I'm good. I've been enjoying my time with myself. It's amazing. But this wind getting disrespectful. Tell that wind quit getting disrespectful, sacred, peaceful over there. Tell it to go on. on. <laughs> I'm a personal chef. Can I come cook for you this summer? Maybe DM me. Um, been there, done that. Right. <laughs> I mean, let me tell y'all something. There's something beautiful when you get to a point where you don't feel like you, the only way you can be happy is by having a significant other. Even though that's what society likes, society likes to put on us is that you got to have a man, you got to have a woman to truly be happy. I have truly learned to be happy with me and my kids. Like, that's enough. I've learned that. So, I don't wake up thinking, oh God, when are you going to send me another husband? No. I'm good. I like it just the way it is right now. It's wonderful. Don't need a man for validation. Don't need a man um, to make me feel happy and to make me feel whole. No. I'm over here making myself whole by myself. Whole. Yep. I need to get over my husband. He cheated like Martel. How did you get over the cheating? Um, you have to do your own customized self-healing journey to get you past that kind of betrayal. Um, anytime you're betrayed by someone who, you know, people will say that's the closest person to you or that you love the most or um, you really have to spend the time and put in the work to get to a place of healing. You have to do that. You have to do that. And it doesn't happen overnight. But I can tell you this, depending on how many times, each time something is done to you, um, it pulls a piece of your heart away each time. So by the time you finally walk away, you may be good and done. I'll be honest, once I left and walked away, I was good and done after that. I ain't never thought about going back. It was already, <laughs> at that point, I was out over it. So... Um, my divorce is so intense, and I'm so glad that I have my siblings and friends to help me. Not absolutely, that's the thing I did too. I started spending a lot of time when I first left. I spent a lot of time with my friends, with my family. Thank you for the badge, um, NC Confidential. Thank you guys for buying badges. I guess y'all liking this talk today. Um, so I definitely spent a lot of time with my friends and family, just enjoying me going out, having drinks here and there, you know, brunch, and um, just enjoying life. Um, stop making songs about the man. Um, very much, Zena. I'll make as many songs as I want to, baby girl. As many as I want to, however long I want to. Don't get it twisted. As many as I want for however long that I choose. And if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. And you don't have to listen. Facts. Once I was out... I was done, done. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get lonely and want that male attention? Uh, very rarely. Very rarely. I tell people like, um, lonely is not, I mean, alone is not lonely. So, very rarely. I think God really like real talk. I cuddle up with my baby every night. <laughs> every night. So, that. A lot of times, y'all just be wanting people to cuddle with at night. I'm going to be honest. Y'all just be wanting that body heat. A lot of times. Yep, y'all be just wanting body heat. And somebody to cuddle up with. Child, you got to find you a bear that plug up that light. No, don't, please don't cuddle with nothing that plugs up and let you keep yourself through the night. Um, I was going to say find you a bear to plug up and get some warm and cuddle up with that bear. Um, but um, no, like, so because I, I cuddle up with my sugar mama every night, so I'm good. I don't think about it. I'm not missing a body next to me. Um, yeah, so no, I don't. I don't, I don't really think about it. I really don't. My birthday is tomorrow. Everyone take a shot. <laughs> you are not going to have everybody taking no shot because your birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Dr. Derrica Hartwell, hey, sis, hey. <laughs> 
Somebody said body heat, shoot, use pillows. You'll be all right. I know that's real because let me tell you, by the time you have somebody that don't need to be coming over to your house, cuddling up with them, whatever else, who knows, and then you'll be feeling some kind of way the next few months. No, no, <laughs> no. That pillow would have cost you less energy, less stress. <laughs> Oh, y'all so funny. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are so funny. Um, <laughs> um, so proud of your coach. You are so beautiful in every area. Oh, thank you so much. I feel you, but nobody wants to be 70 and alone. Um, see, that's the thing. This is so funny to me. Nobody wants to be 70 and alone. So, sometimes people, like, stay in situations that ain't good because they thinking, like, I don't want to be old and alone. Child, I don't want to be 70 and, and stressed. I don't want to be 70 and stressed. I don't want to be 70 and unhappy. How about that? <laughs> we got to switch that thing around. God dang. Because you can be 70 and have somebody with you and still be alone. Let's be clear. Don't stay and fall for the okie doke because you think you're going to be old and alone. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> 70 and old and unhappy and alone and not at peace. <sighs> Miss me with that. Just being honest. Um, just being honest. No, it's okay. But I had to get used to this. I'll be honest. This is I've spent the most time um, by myself than I've ever spent in my life by myself. I tell anyone I was always doing stuff, performing, pageants, church. So I was always around people, um, and um, and I have a large family, so I was always around people. This is the most I've ever been alone, but it's been great. I've learned so much about myself. I've grown so much, you know, as a person, as a human, spiritually, um, mentally. I've grown so, so, so much. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Just real talk. I feel amazing. Are you allowed to speak on the guys' ATL trip, or do we have to wait for the next season? Now, I have nothing to say about um, the guys' trip. Honestly, I don't have no comments. You know. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Hey, account that just started following me. Hi. Um, you got to be able to be happy by yourself. Absolutely. You sure do. Yep, you do. 50 with a man and still alone if the relative isn't healthy. That's right. My boyfriend in four years cheated on me. Two out of the four with a side chick and she ended up, she ended up, what I'm trying to say, she ended up killing him in August. Oh, I'm sorry for both of you guys. That's a lot. That's a lot, lot. Um, yay. Okay. Show my nails. They're black matte. Because you thought it was about to be messed up. <laughs> is that what you thought? You don't have... Who is this? <laughs> oh, that's the same girl that's talking about some quit singing. Let me go and block her off my page. It's how I was quit making songs. She's very taking it very personal. She probably a side... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> She's taking it very personal of what I'm singing about. It's interesting to me. Y'all, some people are just funny. I definitely learned to um, <laughs> remove. <laughs> I definitely learned to laugh at people. Hi, my number is what? For for what? Why are you giving me your number? I'm not about to write that down. And I don't call. So, are we good today? Are y'all good? Ready to have a good weekend? Are we good? Yeah? No? Yes? Mm-hmm. Yes, Melanie. Listen, I'm telling y'all, I done learned how to laugh a lot to protect my peace. I just be like, ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> yep. Um. 
Oh, God bless you too. Author, motivator, Ms. De Miss Debbie. There we go. Author, motivator, Miss Debbie. It's a smile while blocking for me. Listen, hashtag Scorpio energy, man. Listen. <laughs> Scorpio all day, sun and moon, honey. God chose, don't it tell us about God told us the exact time, chose the day and the time that we were to be brought into this world? I guess that was no purpose behind that either, huh? It was no reason. There's no reason. Let me, let me, there was no reason. Hmm. Um. Scorpio. Come on, Scorpios. Um, it's your peace and positive energy for me radiating. Oh, thank you. Well, I love you guys. Um, I enjoyed y'all today. I hope y'all have an amazing weekend. Sending you love and light and positive vibes, positive energy and prayers your way. And um, until next time. Until next time. Mm -hmm.